What happens when you build the car with a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 and 720 horsepower? What happens when you build a car with a carbon fiber monocage that weighs just over 3,000 pounds? What happens when you build a car that was made to set benchmarks and destroy lap times? The McLaren 720S What is it, and what makes it the perfect supercar? I'll tell you. It's a track weapon disguised to the streets. It's a UFO. A monster from the McLaren MSO laboratory. It's something that was formed in a wind tunnel. Yet everything on this car has purpose. From the hidden side vents. To the air curtains. To even the hollowed out headlights. To the carbon fiber elements and weight savings techniques. But what does this mean exactly? All this airflow, it must account for something, right? Downforce, handling, and aerodynamics. Something that the 720S is known for. But what about performance? With all this talk, surely this asphalt eater has the numbers to back itself up. With a 0 to 60 of 2.8 seconds and a top speed of 212 miles per hour, this vehicle may seem quick from the line, but that's not what makes this car special. Where it truly shines is its ability to keep delivering power without a noticeable drop off. With its continuous power delivery, it delivers a 0 to 120 time of 6.8 seconds, compared to the F8 Tributo's time of 7.7 .7 seconds, or the Aventador S's time of 8.8 which lags two full seconds behind. It does this while being at the discounted used price of around $240,000. Compared to both competitors' prices of $400,000 and $500,000 respectively, this car is an obvious choice. With all the power and performance this car gives off, what's stopping this unstoppable force? Six piston brakes with 15 and a half inch rotors in front, combined with four piston brakes and 15 inch rotors in the rear. But that's not everything. There's an air brake to help you slow down, should you need it. And you will. With a two stage active aerodynamic spoiler, the 720S is able to generate ludicrous downforce. Under heavy braking, this vehicle can even flip its spoiler a full 90 degrees to act as an air brake. Truly impressive. What about storage? Surely, storage space in this vehicle isn't our main concern, but it's something that needs addressed. Luggage space in the front will only net you 5.3 cubic feet of room, which is sparse, but very generous compared to other supercars. However, McLaren has gone the extra mile to consider the practical side of ownership. Positioned behind the occupant's head, you'll discover a parcel shelf secured by a leather luggage strap. But since we're already here, let's go ahead and move inside. The dihedral butterfly doors present a feeling of immense occasion whenever the vehicle is being entered. I think that's what the people call billionaire doors. The interior gives off an even more unique and extraterrestrial feeling. Everything is purpose-built and made with intention. With a driver-focused interior, everything is slightly angled towards the vehicle's pilot, which emulates a fighter jet on four wheels. To the right of the driver is the drive mode selector. This controls many of the vehicle's driving dynamics. The top dial, labeled H, controls the vehicle's handling, while P controls the powertrain. Each letter on the dial corresponds to comfort, sport, and track, respectively. Pressing the active button and switching the dials to T, or track, sets the vehicle to its most aggressive driving mode. This is also what activates the gauge cluster to fold away. Yes, fold away. This is what gives the driver a minimalist view for track driving, or as I call it, a need-to-know basis. The infotainment system is entirely unique to McLaren, with several of its own quirks. 
Standard things such as radio, media, and navigation should come as no surprise. What does come as a surprise is this vehicle's use of a track telemetry system. This system can let you select various racetracks around the world, as well as account for factors such as weather and your lap times. Another gift from McLaren comes in the form of variable drift control, which lets the driver select the vehicle's slip angle for when the rear end kicks out. And believe me, it will. The interior presents a comfortable, yet focused environment, with small touches that keep it interesting, yet invigorating. These are subtle nods to the fact that everything in this vehicle is purpose-built, as was intended. With McLaren, no stone is left unturned. Form follows function, it seems. As you, the viewer, ask yourself, what makes a 720S the perfect supercar? It becomes apparent. It's not just a car. It's a symphony of engineering, a perfect fusion of power, performance, and purpose. This asphalt-eating marvel challenges the understanding of automotive excellence. Priced at around 240000 the 720S emerges as an underdog, the dark horse in the realm of supercars. It's not just about the speed it attains, it's about the soul-stirring experience it delivers every single time you slip behind the wheel. But why does it stand out? Beyond the numbers, the 720S offers an immersive driving experience. The continuous power delivery. The aerodynamic dance. And the precision braking. It's not just a machine, it's a driving companion. Consider this, the 720S refused to be confined by price tags. Priced significantly lower than its competitors at 240000 it's a beacon of value in the world of ultra-high performance. McLaren has crafted an automotive masterpiece that doesn't just cater to the elite, but beckons enthusiasts with a passion for driving excellence. In the grand scheme of things, the McLaren 720S is not just a vehicle. It's a statement, with its bright orange paint and butterfly doors. It's a declaration that brilliance can be achieved without compromising accessibility, styling, functionality, and speed. So when you ponder the question of automotive perfection, the 720S stands tall, not just as a machine, but as a testament to the artistry of driving. The verdict is in, and it's a resounding yes, the 720S is the perfect supercar. If you enjoyed this video, or you'd like to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for reminders. Thank you all, and I'll see you in the next video.